The entire emphasis of the National Irrigation Management Fund has been for target management through irrigation service fee collection. There are two reasons of why you emphasize irrigation service fee collection. These are the basic two underlying assumptions of the NIMF also. Is one is the creation of an accountability loop whereby if you emphasize ISF collection and manage to incentivize irrigation to engineers to collect irrigation service fees, then they would be motivated to um, either improve the quality of irrigation service reaching farmers or to um, expand the area irrigated by these systems, which in turn would feed into better management of systems, which through the NIMF would lead to better, more funds for ONM which again once more would positively impact the uh, performance of the system. The second is that information is the fact that there isn't enough uh, credible information about the area irrigated of irrigation systems and uh, having a sort of paper trail of ISL collection would provide a, a, an avenue for the, as a robust indicator of the area irrigation. Uh, a range of, um, so the question I was basically asked was, will this work? Are the assumptions solid enough? Uh, a range of experts were consulted across academics, NGOs, uh, policy makers, in, uh, and uh, irrigation <coughs> uh, department officials. And some of the learnings from the um, expert consultations are as follows. Uh, first, with respect to the operation and maintenance activities, um, two of the biggest inputs that we got was one thing that becomes very important is the speedy disbursement of funds from the center to the state. If, if that process is making the paperwork and too bureaucratic and too long, then states won't be motivated to take advantage of the fund. The second was to, uh, the suggestion was to uh, also link the provision of these funds to capacity building of uh, staff of irrigation departments uh, with respect to uh, improved management. Um, expert also, uh, uh, experts also had uh, sort of opinions with respect to what would happen to ISF fixation and recovery. There were concerns about would this push it, would, even if they're managing to create enough pressure on irrigation departments to collect irrigation service fees, would this end up pushing up irrigation service fees instead of actually uh, leading to an improvement in uh, area irrigated? And would there be a certain amount of curse in the so one one of the sort of uh, aspects that was um, that one of the inputs that was given was to simplify the process of collection of irrigation service fees and to make it more streamlined. Um, the third uh, and the concern uh, and the third uh, thing is with respect to the accountability loop, the establishment of this sort of this sense of responsibility or the sense of uh, or motivating irrigation engineers to improve. Uh, into quality of service community. So with respect to this, I think the biggest input that was given is that the first step to ensuring this would be to ensure that the same people are involved in fee collection and service community, that the same people um, in order for this accountability loop to be completed. There were some, there was some, there was uh, skepticism with respect to whether this accountability loop can be established or not and what kind of particular um, motivation and incentive mechanism should be applied so that this accountability can be established. Uh, some of the concerns that um, that were raised in the expert consultations we seek to sort of um, address with respect to the verification framework or sort of the third party support that would be provided to the NIMF. For, uh, for instance, um, pushing say, getting states interested in uh, taking advantage, getting irrigation departments interested in taking advantage of uh, the National Irrigation Management Fund uh, might be helped along by uh, involving a, a third party verification system or a third party to provide a certain sense of support in helping states understand the conditionalities of the NIMF and also uh, uh, helping them submit certified statements of ISF connection. So, um, with respect to, uh, so there were questions about the structure of the third party framework what kind of, uh, what would be its functions, how would it go about uh, sort of uh, also generating reliable ISF uh, data on ISF collection. So the first step uh, towards this uh, was to understand the kind of information that exists within irrigation systems. So uh, two students from Irma actually uh, went to four states of Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh in order to in, uh, sort of understand what kind of records on irrigation data and uh, fees collected through 
pre selected through aviation uses exist uh, in these aviation systems. In Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh, it was found that uh, assessment is done by the aviation department and the uh, collection is actually done by the revenue department. As opposed to Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh, where assessment and collection were done both by the irrigation department itself. So, um, with respect to this, it so sort of uh, we come back to the point of establishing the accountability loop and having two different departments involved in service collection and delivery and the problems associated with that. But one of the biggest learnings out of this ISF collection was that irrespective of um, whether the revenue department was involved in fee collection or not. The basic structure of the aviation department remained the same and the first consolidation of data happened at the level of the assistant engineer. So where the cases where the revenue department was involved, the offices of the assistant engineer and the district revenue officer would interact with each other. But the biggest sort of learning out of this was data as we went up from division to uh, subdivision to division to circle project level, data was constantly aggregated. However, we still maintain under the separate heads of irrigation service fee collection and non-irrigation service. So, fee collected through these two users. So, uh, this, it, the fact that ISF data exists according on all these, uh, at all these levels in a disaggregated manner, uh, towards a verification framework, this could have, uh, this, we could undertake cross-checking of records across levels in order to ensure consistency in the data. And uh, also check, non ISF collections and because these can't be done for every system in every state, uh, a sampling plan based on uh, you know the consistency of ISF data submitted by uh, irrigation departments and systems would be a feasible way to go. Um, now reliable information uh, being generated with respect to reliable information being generated uh, in the irrigation with respect to irrigation service fees because this paper trail sort of exists of uh, payment and uh, payment and revenue collection, uh, this would give us some sort and if we can take each state irrigation company take this seriously enough, this would give us some indication of the kind of area that is irrigated by these systems or at least the trends in the kind of area that is irrigated uh, by these systems whether it is increasing over time or not. Uh, so ISF could be a robust indicator of the area irrigated which would, you know, would pave the way to credible benchmarking and uh, performance monitoring of systems and how this in turn feedback into system management. Uh, some of the que final questions that I would like to leave uh, uh, for the discussion would be uh, there are certain very valid concerns. Will state irrigation departments get interested in taking advantage of the I uh, ISF? So what are the specific incentive points that we can push on? Second is Will it, uh, once we get them interested, will it end up increasing the gap further between uh, well-performing and poor-performing states and how will this in turn affect incentives? Um, to address these two concerns, the question is whether a third-party uh, support system can help, whether you can have either a uh, national level NGO or some sort of a third-party system that uh, actively engages with irrigation departments and helps them take advantage and creates a certain level of awareness as well uh, among the irrigation Um And a couple of other questions would be with respect to are there similar initiatives at a smaller scale that we can learn from in sort of in terms of revitalizing management um, with respect to the verification process. How can we, because this is an annual sort of event, how do we ensure that this would be reliable, simple, yet cost effective? And uh, with respect to the fact that ISF data would uh, would could create a robust uh, sort of indicator of area irrigated, what kind of effects would this have on um, uh, on assessing performance of irrigation systems? And especially not assessing performance of irrigation systems with respect to external factor, but how do we begin to assess performance of irrigation systems with respect to the management of these uh, irrigation systems? So, these are some of the questions um, I'd like to do this and uh, I'll ask uh,